I don't know what's going on with my YouTube. Um, oh, there we go. It got disconnected for a while. Sorry, guys. Men come in all sizes, but they don't treat you like a queen. And I agree with that. Because I've had some men and they have been great looking. Sorry, YouTube. YouTubers and Facebook, for some reason, you guys got disconnected. I should have checked earlier when I realized you guys were quiet. But um, hopefully you guys are back. Oh, you can see us? Okay, because I couldn't type. I couldn't type inside the comment. Yep, all the comments. No, I still have the comments. But yeah, if y'all typed any previous comments, they're gone. But um, I still have the last comment Amazon said about the short men could beat up everybody. I was wondering what the fuck happened to y'all. All right, Tanya said, ain't that the truth, Coach Donovan? So I want to hang on what Coach Donovan said for a minute. He said, men come in all sizes. But that doesn't mean they all treat you like a queen. And that is so fucking true that is so true y'all they don't all treat you like a queen sorry youtube and facebook there was a connection error and i didn't realize you guys was disconnected all right i got <laughs> sorry about that come on in come on in come back in all right and so when i walked away from these men you know i didn't take the time to explain to many people why i walked away because it's none of people's business exactly why i walked away but no damn well if i walked away from a man that i once said was fine motherfucker there was a reason why i had to walk away from him and coach donovan hit it hit, hit it nail on the head ladies if you are not if you are not in a lucrative and menti mentally stimulating in a good way rela relationship why would you stay because the motherfucker is good looking, right? Some of us hold on to the image of a man like that is it and that is all. Like, I'm not going to let this motherfucker go because I don't want nobody else to have him. That ain't me, y'all. That ain't me because I let the motherfucker go because I know that they're going to be sorry that they don't have me anymore. Period. Because I know what I'm coming to the table with. So when these tall and fine motherfuckers don't treat you like a queen, don't hang on to these motherfuckers because you think because they good looking and they tall and they got muscles. The fuck? I had to learn the hard way. I had the tall ones and I had the, the 5, 10, and 11 ones with the big fucking muscles, right? But if, they, if they're not mentally stimulating you here in a good way and they're not treating you like a queen, like Coach Donovan said, how the fuck is that the image going to help you? Okay? How's the image going to help you? And Tierra Rule Squad says, I'm curious as to why the short men are discriminated against so much. Good question. Ladies, why do y'all discriminate against? short men so much that's a question from interior rule squad i have small girlfriends and they flat out refuse to date men under six two well i explain my my position right i'm five two now i i, I I like tall men, but but taller than me. Like you could be 5'10, you could be 5'11. Taller than me when I put heels on included. How about that? Right? You don't have to be six two. You don't have to be, you know, but if you are 6'2", and you are 6'3", and 6'4", and 6'5", and 6'6", <laughs> I'm going to love it. And only reason is because I'm going to tell y'all the reason I love the man towering over me. Uh, beyond the fact that I want to feel protected. Beyond that. I like feeling like a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm such a, a I feel like I'm such a, I, I feel like I'm a lot of woman, Right? In body, I'm a lot of women. I got, I got the hips and everything. I'm, a, I'm a lot of women, right? And, and I got, and, and I feel like I come with a big presence, right? When I walk into a room or when I'm in a crowd, I feel like I come with a big presence, okay? Not because I think I'm cute or anything like that. It's just my personality. I have a big personality, and so I, I, I feel like when I'm with my man, I want to feel like a little bit. If that makes sense. I want to feel like when he hold me, like I'm swallowed up like a little peanut. That's what I want to feel like at that moment. It makes me feel like, oh my God, I don't have to feel like this big person. 
that I normally feel like every day. And that's just my personal thing. So when a big man puts his arms around me, I'd be like, oh, I feel like a little bit and I just love it. That's my thing. That's my thing. But you don't have to be 6'2". But yes, Interior Rule Squad, I know people that be like, nope, you got to be 6'2". You got to be six foot. You got to be this. You got to be that. And so why are short men discriminated against so heavily? And then we complain. A lot of these women out here be like, I'm single. I'm single. I'm single. Why am I single? Why am I single? You single because you looking for the tall men only. The short men are out here looking. What the fuck? Y'all walking right the fuck past them. Kirk Franklin got snatched up the fuck. I'm just saying. Okay. John, um, um, protagonist said, once a man understands his value to this earth, looks and money only enhance our lives. It don't dictate it. True. Right? Protagonist also says short men are discriminated because girls want to look good in pictures, but women are missing out on missing out on good men for their dumb ass beliefs. Great point. Women want to look good in pictures. Is that true, ladies? Y'all want to look good in pictures. You don't want to look taller than your man in pictures. That's what the fuck this is about. The fuck? Johnny says some women disqualify men for the stupidest reason. And when they see him with someone else or they get to know him better, then she's like, oh, I should have judged him. I should have judged him. So I shouldn't have judged him so quickly. I know real people like that. I have a girlfriend who I tried to hook her up with somebody. Yup. Years ago. And she ain't want his ass. She didn't want him. He was tall, great job, great ambition, goals, everything. She didn't want him because he didn't have the look that she was accustomed to. Okay. And so she dropped him. Okay. Years later, this motherfucker got a whole life. She talk about what he doing. He doing. He doing it without you. He don't want to no more. You see what happens? Some people, you right, they will come back to try to attract, reattach themselves to that man that they didn't want because it didn't fit the image that they wanted years ago. But when they see that that man's growth has taken him to places, then here come the woman. Oh, I like it now. No, now it's too fucking late. I know people like that. I know people like that, Johnny, that have disqualified men. And years later, they looking at these men like, baby. And I'm like, nope. It's too fucking late. Okay. Jello said, I only dated one short guy. He was short and not circumcised. I ran. Never again. He was a baby. See? <laughs> Wait a Wait a minute. Wait, you said... He was short and not circumcised. Oh, and she said he was a baby. He just came out the motherfucking incubator. I'm fucking dead, Jello. Uh-uh. I'm fucking dead. He was short and not circumcised. I mean, I had a tall ass man that man that wasn't circumcised. Not being circumcised don't bother me. Mm, coffee with friends after dark. How do you get through sex with uncircumcised men? I just want to know. I don't think it's a big fucking deal. As long as they're pulling their skin back and they're cleaning the shit. And if you sleep with an uncircumcised man, pull his shit back and sniff it. Huh? Don't be scared. Listen, motherfuckers be scared to do shit. If you are butt ass naked in the bed, titties out, and you suck, and you about to suck a dick, don't pull the meat back and sniff it. The fuck? I'm just... <laughs> Tanya said, yeah, why do men wear those still? Even if they are color, don't like them. Wait, wear what? What did I... Oh, the tidy whiteies. Right. Well, this was years ago. I was still in New York. Are men, do y'all still wear the tidy whiteies? <laughs> the fuck? Don't, I don't, mm -mm. I don't want it. Me, she said, as long as you are taller than me, I'm okay. I'm five, six, and I like tall men. Well, damn it, uh, me, she boo. Well, what the fuck? That's tall for a man. If, if he got to be taller than you and you already five, six, hey, mother. You already 5'6". That's tall. Hey, T. Rick 01. Ghost 95 Mob said, how many women really like bending over to hug and kiss their man? 
fuck this. I, 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 I'm dead. Ghost, get off my live, Ghost 95. Fuck this. I'm fucking dead. And see, that's the shit that I'm talking about. Bye, Ghost 95 Mob. See, Ghost 95 Mob had his first kickoff of the show. <laughs> Wait a minute. He said, how many women really like bending over to hug and kiss their man? See, you done fucked my whole head up with that. I'm not doing it. I can't do it, y'all. See, you done messed me up, Ghost 95 Mob. I can't do that. Oh, my God. Protagonist said most girls come back around, but once in a, in a friend's in the friend zone i ain't coming out especially when i get passed up for them lesser men i'm telling you protagonist says i win boxes my clothes is childish but my education and bank account is grown enough <sighs> protagonist protagonist no you fucking didn't say you wear pokemon underwear uh uh <laughs> I'm going to need you to do better. I know you're not stripping down to your Pokemon underwear get ready to have sex. Now, anybody on here ever had sex with somebody and they had superhero underwear on? Because protagonist. The fuck? Wait, Johnny Hill. Well, look, Johnny Hill has a question. Who the who in the hell still wears tidy whities? Them drawers hurt. Boxer briefs all day. Well, well, protagonist said he wear Pokemon. The fuck? So if it's not Tidy Whitey's, y'all still wear superhero shit? The fuck? I'm dead with Ghost 95, though. Who's bending down kissing their man? I'm not doing that. See, you done fucked me up now, Ghost 95. See, I'm trying to give the shorty man a chance, and you are here fucking it up for me. I can't. See, this is why I'm going to need my man to bend down and kiss me. It it. it, it. <laughs> Yes, I see your toys. Anybody watch Protagonist Live? Because I swear to God, I know he wear a Pokemon underwear. Y'all see all his toys behind him? And he just bought a new one last week. The fuck? Coach Donovan said, gotta wear boxes, need the space. I'm just... How many women on here don't mind bending down, kissing their man? I got to end this, but we got to continue this tomorrow because I didn't even get to talk about in the workplace, right? I need to talk about what, how image plays out in the workplace, right? When you go apply for jobs, are men, you know, conscious of their appearance when they go apply for jobs, you know, just as conscious as women? I, I need to know. Ghost 95 says, I'm 6'3". Laugh out loud. I got to tease him a little bit. Because damn it, the fuck? I don't want to bend down and kiss my man. I, I'm just putting it out there. So if anybody out there shorter than me and you interested in dating me, please don't inbox me. I, I mean, we could be friends, but I don't... I, I like... I need... I, I need my man tall. That's just me because I want to feel like a little bit. I do. I don't want to. I don't want to feel like I have to protect my man. And that's my own PTSD that I'm healing from the fuck from the movie theater shit. I don't know when I'm ever going to get over that, but I, I'm not bending down to kiss my man. All right. And I'm not doing the tidy whities. I'm not doing that either. All right. But damn it, it's 910. And I'm so fucking sad that I lost connection on YouTube for a period of time. That is so dis. That's so upsetting, right? I missed all them comments, but that's okay. Cause you know, my ass will be back tomorrow it is hump day. Not only will I be back tomorrow, it is hump day, hump day, hump day, hump day. All right. And we're going to continue this conversation about the image of the man, but tomorrow the images of man and women, but tomorrow we're going to talk more on the topic of girl. How did you get that man? You know, this is more along the lines of what, what, what Amazon 46 triple D talked about yesterday when she jumped on and she said that she picks up men that are tall and muscular. And a lot of people look at her and go, how did you get that man? Do people ever look at you and go, how did you get that man? Or, 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 or fellas, anybody ever look at you and say, how did you bag that lady? Is it more than just your looks? Like Juanita was saying, how do you attract 
the people that come into your life, right? And how do you respond to the to 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 those people that look at you and say, "How did you get that?" When somebody says to you, "How the fuck did you pull that?" Is that offensive? Like, how the fuck you ask me, "How did I pull that?" Look at me. I got a lot to offer. Be careful what the fuck y'all say to other people, right? Because when Juanita called that out yesterday, I was like, that's a cruel thing to say to somebody. How did you bag that? How did you get that? Like you, you are literally letting your friend or your associate know that you think less of them. When you say something like that, we got to be careful what we're saying to other people, right? Because, you know, for years we just said, how did you get that? And we just kept it moving like it was no big deal. But how does the person receiving that message feel when you say, how did you get that? That's offensive, y'all. Okay. Um, Johnny said, if I had a tall woman, she better bend down and kiss me while I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> Listen, I am sure for all those women out there that have short men, they are bending down and kissing them. And that's on them. But you know what they say, right? You know what the fuck they say? You know, I had another guy when I was growing up. I don't know if he listened to my show or not, but you know, if you listen to my show out there, I love you. We friends. <laughs> and he's short. And we grew up together and, and he used to like me and stuff. And I just couldn't date him because he was short, but I loved him as a friend. Right. And, 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 and you know, I used to feel bad about that, but you know, sometimes, you know, I, I, I don't be mad at me because of my preference. Right. As long as I carry it out with respect. Right. But don't be mad. Cause I want somebody taller than me. The fuck. I mean, it's a preference, right? But it did start from somewhere, okay? Um, Cheryl Lee said, high vibration is always attractive. That's true. High vibration is always attractive, right? So when motherfuckers be like, how did you, how did you get that person? Nobody has ever said that to me. But if a motherfucker ever walked up to me and was like, damn, how did you get that? I cussed them, them the fuck out. I would. So I hope none of you Coffee with Friends members are that type of person that be walking around to asking your friends, damn homie or damn sis, how did you get that? That shit is offensive. Protagonist says, I'm always offended when people say, how did you? Exact. It's offensive. If y'all didn't know what y'all learned that motherfucking shit today on Coffee with Friends, don't do that. Soulful said, women have asked me that question other times. Why do y'all ask people these questions? We're going to talk about that shit too. Protagonist says, I'm 5'11 and I got to hit a six foot chick just because. 5'11 is not short though. 5'11 is not short. But anyway, y'all, more to fucking come on Hump Day Wednesday. Not only am I coming back tomorrow at 8 a.m., all right, but tomorrow is Wednesday, so arts and crafts will be popping at 8.30 p.m. I'm not always on the scene, but I'm going to try to pop on the scene tomorrow night, right? Tomorrow night, hump day. Tomorrow night at 8.30, the arts and crafts, that's Johnny Leon Hill's show, y'all. If y'all not supporting it, please go over there and support it. And don't forget to follow Protagonist. And, you know, we got a couple of people. Protagonist comes on YouTube. Normally, he goes live right after I go live. He goes live before I go live. He goes live in the afternoon. He goes live at night. He goes live from his car. He's live all the time. So, y'all, <laughs> if y'all following him, you will see him pop up with the seven forms of income all the time, all right? And there's several other people on here that have businesses. Please support each other, okay? And if we have a service that we're offering and, and each of us are tuning in and, and trying to engage in our services, please respond to each other. Coffee with Friends is a family. It's more than just a talk show. It's a family. So make sure we are responding to one another if we reach out to each other for services. If there's a business owner on here that wants to be a part of Spotlight on Coffee with Friends that wants to talk about their business, let me know. I'm starting to collect um, um, business owners and people that I can do um, interviews with to, to interview them on their business, you know, so that they can get their business out there, what they do, right? How does it help the black community? We want to start getting back into that, right? How, how can people find you? 
right? How does your services, what benefits does your services provide? Let's start getting this information out there, right? We have to support each other the best we can. I show up here to fuck free, y'all. All right? All right? And so I will be back here again tomorrow at 8 a.m. Make sure you join me and make sure you don't forget to put on your calendars 8.30 p.m. Arts and Crafts tomorrow night. All right? Coffee with Friends After Dark will be coming to you June 24th. I will have some juicy topics for you. All right? So make sure you are coming. And if you plan on being a part of the show, like jumping on to co-host and talk about some of your risque topics. Because Coffee with Friends After Dark is risque topics, right? It's a whole motherfucking mood. June 24th, all right? Come mood attired, okay? If you plan on jumping on the show, come mood attired. That's for the men too. Come in a mood, y'all, with your drinks, mood setting the light, smoking your cigar, whatever the fuck y'all doing. Come with the mood, all right? Because June 24th, we're going to have a coffee with friends after dark. But y'all know how to find me, all right? Y'all know how to find me. You can still go. Link is in my bio. YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, where I do all my dances. Hey. YouTube. Hit subscribe. Hit that bell so that you know when I'm going live. Send me an inbox. Let me know if there's a topic you want to talk about. If you're a business owner, let me know. Let's interview your ass. Don't say that, you know, you can't get the word out about your business. I'm offering, all right? Um, I don't know, Johnny. I'll have to check that. I don't know what's going on if YouTube is having a problem this morning, but I'll go back and check. Probably because I stopped and restarted. Hey, but I'll check. <laughs> this is technology, y'all. Y'all know how it works. But anyway, y'all, gone for now, not forever. This is Raw to the Bone. Remember, love up on your brothers and sisters, all right? Mm, even when you feel you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. What? Peace.